Hello everybody, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial video showing you how to configure the Sugarcane bot after installing it and getting in game. If you have not yet installed the Sugarcane bot, uh, please check the description of this video for links to videos showing you how to install it. Anyways, to get the bot set up for the first time, you need to configure it for your specific farm layout. Uh, the bot will try to be compatible with uh, as many, pos many different uh, possible uh, layouts, but there are a few different uh, like design principles that your farm should follow in order for it to work cleanly. Uh, so first of all, there should be a uh, wall all the way around your sugarcane farm, preventing your, uh, your player from falling off. I'll show you on the other side here. So Oh yeah, that, that, that's pretty simple to understand, right? You just need to make sure that your bot can't walk off into oblivion. Second, uh, there should be uh, full blocks over the water lanes, right? So either one block high or two block high. Uh, you shouldn't just use slabs uh, that your player can like walk over, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, uh, there should also be a one block wide lane setting, or uh, one block lane at the end of the sugarcane rows so uh, you know there will be one one of the lanes will be here and then on the opposite side uh, the same thing right so it's symmetrical kind of yeah so your player will basically walk along these rows finding a sugarcane row to harvest anyways yeah um, next thing is you should set the direction of the no destination teleport pad so you're gonna have uh basically you know, let me see if i can uh, crappy paint.net drawing for you okay so you're basically going to have you know uh, your sugarcane farm looking a little bit like this right and uh maybe your maybe your uh sugarcane rose run like that right now just for sake of argument say this is you know north east south west so with the with with this bot you need a minimum of two teleport pads on each layer uh, you can use more if you use more teleport pads like if you put put a third one in corner over there and a fourth one in the corner over there you can improve the bots of efficiency by making it so uh, you know whenever it hits a corner it'll teleport it back to the home corner so it can like scan again fresh uh, but yeah anyways you're gonna want to have at least two teleport pads one in that corner over there one in that corner over there so diagonally opposite so you can just pretend you know that's gonna be one teleport pad and this is gonna be another one and so uh, I'll mark the no destination one as being red actually it's like that so no destination that just means it's like the starting corner so uh, this is important for when you're doing multi-layer setups uh, each layer should basically be identical like you know mirror copies but not mirrored or anything um so like you know if you have the no destination teleport pad in the northwest corner for layer one you should have it in the northwest corner for layer two three and so on anyways uh the no destination teleport pad here uh, what you're going to want to do is set the teleport direction to be facing towards the sugarcane lanes, right? So if you see here, it's south for me. If I click there, it's already set to be facing south. So uh, yeah, in this um, in this demo, it would be you know looking north. Set it to be north since yeah. Anywho, uh, right after you've done that, you're gonna want to go on over to the opposite side and uh, on the, the, the opposite corner diagonally from this, you're going to set it up so this one leads you back to the, uh, the no destination teleport pad on the same layer if you're setting up a one layer farm. If you're setting up a multiple layer farm, you want to basically chain the, uh, the, the layers. So like, let's see if I can show what I mean here. Right, so this is going to be three, two, one. So they should be like 
right on top of each other, right? So identical. So on each of these, maybe this corner is the no destination teleport pad, right? And uh, I'm just going to draw with the blue arrow or a blue line showing you the connections here. So if it was to start on the first layer, the uh, other teleport pad on this layer will take it to the no destination teleport pad on the second layer. And on the second layer, the teleport pad here would take it to the third layer, right? So it goes one, two, three, and then over here, you sent it back to one, right? Kind of confusing, but it'll be a lot easier to understand if you're uh, actually setting it up. Anyways, um, so for this demo, I'm just gonna set it so it teleports me back to the same layer. And another thing, you're going to want to set the direction on all of the uh, actual teleporting teleport pads on this layer to be player direction. Now, if you go through this, you look and you see you're facing towards the sugarcane rows. Perfect. You got it right. Now, uh, once you're in game to set up the sugarcane script, you just make sure you're on the blitz gain version. Now you're going to press H. It's going to give you a bunch of blah, 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 blah info here. Um, but you can basically follow the guy that'll say here to uh, skip having to watch this video, I guess. So, uh, yeah, what we're going to do now is set the first corner of the uh, configuration to be the no destination corner. So there we go. Set that up as corner one. Now we're going to go on to the other teleport pad and set that as corner two. Uh, one thing to note is you, you won't be able to walk on top of this teleport pad to like uh, show it the, des the the coordinates for it. So what you can do is just look at it and like you, you get your crosshair right over the teleport pad like that and you press H and the script setup will know that you're meaning to mark the teleport pad as your destination instead of where you actually are. Then you just need to look in the direction the bot needs to be traveling to break the sugarcane rows. You press H again. Then you need to enter the access key. So I generated an access key just for this little setup. There we go. Uh, if you can get your access key in the, whoops, just threw my mouse. Uh, you can get your access key in the uh, in Discord DMs that you have with me or whoever uh, set you up with the script. So you press H and you enter your access key just like that. It'll authenticate and it'll give you this config string. So this right here, this config string, uh, you can copy it to your clipboard, save it somewhere, safe, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, what that holds on it is basically just the encoded information of like this physical layer setup, right? So if you're setting up this bot again later on like a identical shaped layer, you can just import uh, right there and it will, uh, it will be able to read that and uh, process it instead of having you to go back and forth like that. Anyways, once you've got that set up, you can literally just turn the bot on. Uh, so a small little thing here. Uh, there is some ban risk of using this script, especially when you use it on multiple layers. Uh, that's just, you know, that's scripting. You, you can't script at zero risk pretty much ever. So uh, this is just a little disclaimer. You can click yes, remember choice. Now you can see immediately the bot's going to turn on at the uh, top left you'll see that it's going to have a uh, couple different um, things shown so the name of the bot that's useful for when you have a bunch of bots set up uh, how long it's been farming and um, how much items it's produced the estimated profit profit per hour all that type of stuff yeah so you can see it just updated there now uh, you can see it's actually going to throw out that little stone brick I have because it detected it as being a crappy item. You can see here it's automatically shifting its harvesting angle when you're harvesting multiple rows at once, like instead of being on a single row. Um, yeah, so there are a bunch of different settings that you can configure in this bot. So like, I'll let it finish this last uh, lane and I'll go and uh, show you all of them here. The one of the main selling points of this bot is like just how configurable it is. Like seriously, hold on a minute. There we go. So uh, here, I'll, I'll first of all, again, you can also use personal compactor with this bot. It works, 
you know, you don't have to even configure any changes in the bot, it'll instantly pick up and learn how to use it. But you can press F6 and uh, you'll see a whole swack of options here. So there are a bunch of different things here. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description to the sugarcane documentation guide where we'll have like a it will have like a little bit of information on what each of these options do, which each of the sub options do. Uh, you might not have the anti-cheat measures option. This is like a testing. It's just for developing developer stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll give a. Uh, I might do another video in a second showing you uh, all the different settings in this video. All right, all the different settings in a different video, but there's just so many that I'm not going to have the time to show it in this one here. So yeah, that's how you set it up to work on a single layer of sugarcane. Uh, now I'm just going to show you how to set it up to work with a second layer, right? So if you want to use two layers at once instead of three, uh, here's how you can do it. So we're on the second layer here. What I'm going to do is change the destination to be layer one start now I already have it set up down there so I can show you but yeah you can see these two um, layers are basically stacked right on top of each other so they're identical top and bottom so this one's uh, called layer two start this one's called layer one start again you want to have both of them facing the direction towards the sugarcane for me it's going to be south now that I'm on this layer down here, what I can do is I'm just going to go to F6, Configuration, Layer Corners, uh, Reconfigure. There we go, Reset Configuration. So first things first, what we're going to do is set the first corner down here to be the bottom layer, corner one. So if I draw up another demo here, swap that over. So imagine... Heh, God, it's been a minute since I've had to draw a little demo like this, so bear with me. Oh, fuck. Right, so imagine there's two layers, and they're, like, identical, right? Pretty crappy identical. So you can see this is why I've chosen programming instead of uh, art as my choice for a career. Anyways, uh, yeah, so here, uh, the, how do I switch to a brush? Brush, 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 brush. Okay, yeah, so imagine you have the, uh, one corner is always going to be the no destination corner. Same on all layers, right, and again, north, east, south, west, right, so if the uh, sugarcane rows are running north to south, you want to have it so the uh, no destination teleport pad is facing towards north. So direction would be north. Anyways, uh, so this is going to be layer one. This is going to be layer two. Now, again, we're going to have... Uh, oops, let me switch the color. We're going to have uh, the other corner in blue here. Now, where I draw the yellow marks are going to be where the corners are in the script configuration. So if the yellow corner here, if you're choosing like layer 1 as your first corner, you want to choose layer 2 or you know layer 3, layer 4, whatever, the topmost layer as your second corner. So it's kind of like drawing a world edit selection. You know, you want to have the entire sugarcane farm and all of its layers selected. So you just need to choose the correct layer for uh, the second corner. So I set that up as layer one already. Now, there, I set that uh, teleport pad over there as corner one, layer one, where you're going to be doing a two layer set up here so we're going to set the other teleport pad on this layer to teleport you to layer two start so if I go right down over here layer two start there you go uh, now instead of setting the other corner to be right there you're gonna go up and set it as the topmost layer just like that and now you again look in the correct direction paste your access key in just like that, and it'll pump out another configuration string. 
And there you go. So now the bot's configured to work on both layers here. And uh, you can see if I turn the bot on like that, it'll work on the bottom layer. And if I want to go up here, it'll also work on the second layer. There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, I'll just quickly show you what it'll look like or what it does when it teleports from one layer to another. Actually, no, I can't. That's not how the bot works. I'm stupid. Anyways, uh, yeah, you get the idea. It's super easy. You just need to chain the uh, layers, right? So layer one goes to layer two, layer two goes to layer three, layer three goes back to layer one. However you want to do it for however many layers you have that you're setting up. And uh, you set it so in the script configuration, like in the actual program, uh, the one one corner is on the bottommost layer and the other corner is on the topmost layer. And lastly, uh, it'll automatically set your home when you're setting up the script, but you should always set your home on one of the no destination teleport pads over here. But yeah, that's uh, that's how you set it up for two layers. Uh, if you check the description of this video, there might be another video showing you what all the different settings do for the sugarcane script. But uh, that's the end of this one. Thanks for tuning in. Adios.